How's it going there fellow junkies? Today's video we've got another fun video here for you on the Nexus 9 and we're going to show you how to factory reset your Nexus 9 manually in Android stock recovery and get yourself back to this screen, the initial screen. When you first power your device on it'll totally wipe out everything and get you up and running once again with a fresh fresh Android experience. <laughs> To manually factor reset your Nexus 9, uh, it's pretty easy to do actually. So let me show you how to do it. This is my Nexus 9. You see I've got a bunch of apps on it. Got things installed on my own. So to do it and to get it factory reset, what you have to do is go ahead and power it off. Power off the device. Or if you're having troubles with the device booting or there's some kind of problem you're having, um, just try to get the device off if you can. If you can't while it's in the middle of some kind of a boot loop or something like that, try to do this. Hold your volume down button, and while you're holding it, hold your power button. And just keep holding them, and eventually, if all goes well, you will see this. This is your um, bootloader, or HBoot, for HTTC devices like the Nexus 9. And it's very simple. From here, you're going to scroll up and down, and it even tells you right here with your volume buttons, and you're going to select with your power buttons. So there is a couple options. One is right here, factory reset. Um, that's one way of doing it. I don't like using that. I'd rather much you rather use the recovery system, which that does use too, but I just like doing it this way. So we're going to go into Android stock recovery or stock Android recovery. So you highlight it and then select it with power. And we should be booting here into stock Android recovery. Now, if you have a custom recovery installed, you saw me probably recently just installed Twerp recovery. This would be the exact same way if you flash a bad ROM, your device is stuck in some kind of boot loop. Boom. You can get into recovery this exact same way. But instead of booting up stock Android recovery, you would boot up custom recovery like Twerp recovery, Team Win recovery project. So from here, you see this little guy in his back and it says no commands, right? So you're like, how do I get into recovery? Well, the trick from here now, because you're basically in recovery, you just got to get the option screen to pop up. You're going to hold volume up and power. You're going to push it once at the exact same time. Ready? One, two, three, volume up and power. Boom. There it is. Now you can see Android system recovery. And you can use your commands. Again here, you're going to scroll with the volume up and down. So you have, the first one was Reboot System, now you have Apply Update from ADB. Here you have Wipe Data Factor Reset. Here you have Wipe Cache Partition. Reboot to Bootloader, Power Off, and View Recovery Log. Now this is more options than I've seen on other Android recovery devices, which is uh, stock Android recovery, which is nice. So I like this uh, Power Down or Reboot to Bootloader. Those are definitely new from what I've seen. So to wipe data factory reset, we're just going to come right here to wipe data factory reset. You're going to go ahead and hit the power button. It's going to ask you again. You scroll all the way down to yes, delete all user data. This will totally factory reset your device. It'll go back to whatever build it is on. So right now I'm on the 21R build and it'll wipe everything back to that. It'll have to do initial setup, put in your Wi-Fi, your passwords, all your stuff to get it all booted up again. But that sometimes is needed to get your device working or just to get it reset so you can sell it or give it to somebody else, whatever the, whatever your reason may be. So I'm going to say delete all user data, hit the power button. And down here at the very bottom, it is saying wiping data, formatting data. So this is going to take a little while. Once it's done formatting data, it's going to format cache partition. And then you will be done with your factory reset. Okay, so now we are formatting cache. Formatting data took about hmm, four minutes, honestly. So be patient. All right, there you go. Um, formatting cache was fairly quick. That was about 30 seconds, honestly. So that, that's, that was nice. Um, so we're done. We've totally factory set our device. We're just going to go ahead and say right here, reboot system now. And it's going to go ahead and boot up our device. Now, quick information on this boot up. Because you wipe data, you factory reset your device, you have cache, 
Um, the first boot up could take, well, it's a quick device. It probably shouldn't take more than about three minutes, but it's going to take longer than the normal boot up on the device because it has to reset up everything and get it ready to do the startup settings and all that again and just get everything prepped again to run. So just be patient for it to start up this first time. Alrighty, there we go. There is the Android and there is the initial uh, startup screen. You are completely factory reset, wipe data, you are good to go. This device is like new again. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys learned a little bit about the bootloader menu, how to navigate it, how to do wipe data factory reset manually on in stock Android recovery. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.